Hi there and welcome to another Python video. In this video what we're going to do is learn how to generate scatter plots in Python and we're also going to have a look at how you might go about finding the nearest neighbour to a particular point in two dimensional space. So let's get started and we'll use NumPy to generate a, an array of 20 xy coordinates. So I'm going to use uh, the NumPy random module which has a uniform function built into it, if I can uh, spell that correctly. So uniform takes these three arguments, low, high and the size. So the low, we want them between 0 and 5, so low is 0, high is 5, and the size is going to be equal to 20 because we want 20 points and two, each point has two dimensions which is an x and a y. And that will give us an array, we have 20 points of x, y coordinates. So with that in place, we are going to now look at plotting that data using matplotlib. Matplotlib is a plotting library in Python and it provides lots of different plotting routines that you can call. Um, one of them is the scatter function. So what we do is we create what's called a figure and an axis using the plt.subplots method. And the axis is something that you can essentially draw your graphs, your charts, your visualizations onto. And the axis provides certain functions such as scatter. And in scatter's case, what we want to do is we want to scatter the x and the y coordinates to generate a two dimensional graph of the points. So we take the array that we've built up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the x coordinates only. And we're going to use NumPy's syntax for that. So we want every, we want to look over every single point in the top axis. So Basically that means we're going to look at every single one of these 20 data points and what we want to do for the um, the second axis is we want to look at zero. We want to only consider this column here. We're not interested in the y values, we're only wanting to plot the x values. This is just the, the way that the scatter function works essentially. It provides to you, um, you, you, you basically for the first parameter you plot the x coordinates, the second parameter we plot the y coordinates and again we index every single um, combination in that array and we take the first column, that, which is essentially in the second column because we index from zero. So to the scatter function we're passing all the x coordinates and we're also passing the y coordinates as a separate argument and that what that does is it will plot for us the x coordinates with the associated y coordinates on that scatter plot axis. So that's a lot of talking about this. Let's just see it in action. Um, I'll call plt.show and you can see that each of the points that we've generated with this random uniform data is now plotted on um, a two-dimensional scatter plot. And if we look at one of the particular examples, let's say this one, 3.6 and is the x coordinate, 0 0.23 is the y coordinate. So if we look roughly for that, 3.6 be about here, 0 0.2 would be about here, so we can see that that's the point that represents that element within the array. So that's a scatter plot. Um, what I want to do next is define a target point in the coordinate system, and that just means I'm going to randomly generate a two dimensional plot, a uh, two, dimension, two dimensional point within these axes. So, how do we do that? I'm going to define, I'm going to copy the, the code we've got for this. To actually define the scatter plot, and what I want to do is generate a random point, and it's going to be random, uh, uniformly generated between zero and five, just to keep it in the same axis. So I'm going to import Python's random module, and we'll call random dot uniform, and we are generating that between zero and five. That's the x coordinate, and we want to copy that to get the y coordinate. So if I print that point, that will give us a 2D tuple that contains the x coordinate randomly uniformly generated and the y coordinate which is also uniformly generated between 0 and 5. So that's the point. What I want to do then is take the axis object. We've already drawn a scatter plot onto that, but you can actually call the different you can call different methods multiple times on the axis object. One of the things we can do is call the plot method and I want to plot that point it's its x coordinate and that's its y coordinate and that will pl plot it onto the graph but the problem at the moment is we don't know 
which point we've just plotted. Um, so what I'm going to do is add some styling to this um, plot. The marker is going to be uh, a circle, just as before, but I'm going to increase the marker size to 8. Let's see if we can see it now. I think it's this one. But the best thing I can do is actually change the colour, so let's make it red. And it, obviously it's randomly generated, so it's moved away from here. But that's the point of interest. So now the, the task I want to do um, within this data is we want to plot the nearest neighbour to this point. So which of the blue dots is closest to the red dot in that graph? So how to do that? What we are going to do is um, we're going to consider the L2 norm between this point and all other points in the graph. So NumPy has a Linalge module which can, provides a norm function. And if I look at the L2 norm between each member of the array, and this will broadcast um, subtracting the point from every element, every all of the 20 elements within the array. If we actually look at this, and we need to do it over the first axis, we get a 20 dimensional, and I'll just verify that with the shape. So it's 20 dimensional vector containing the L2 norm, which is essentially the Euclidean distance between each point in the array and the randomly generated point that we've got above. So the smaller the value here, the closer the point is to that given XY point within the array. So what we want to do is we want to get the closest. So we're going to get the minimum index by using NumPy's argmin function. And that will give us the index of whatever the smallest value in this is. And it actually looks like it might be zero. So if I call that, let's see what we get back. It's actually zero. So the first element within the NumPy array up here is actually the closest to the randomly generated point that we've got here. So we've got the minimum index. And what I want to do now is create a new figure and a new axis. We can do that with plt.subplots. And I'm going to get all the other points within the graph that are not the closest point. So that's by we can get that by using NumPy's delete function. We delete from the array the element at the minimum index. And we're using the first axis, the zeroth axis here. That will give us all the other points in the array. And the closest point we can simply get by indexing into the array at the minimum index. So just to be clear on what that's doing. The other points are all the points within the array that are not at the minimum index. So we use that by just deleting the element at the minimum index from the array. That's not an in-place operation. It returns a copy without the element that's been deleted. The array itself is unaffected, so we can still index in at the minimum index and get back the closest point, which I'm going to spell correctly here. So now what I want to do is scatter again. We'll, we'll scatter all the other points that we've got, which are not closest. And we can just use the same syntax as before. Just copy that, change the, get the Y coordinate there. And that will give us the scatter point of all the other points. To get the, um, the, the random point, I'm just going to copy the line we've got up here. That generates the red random point. Uh, where was I? <laughs> Here. Okay, so we've got the random point now, and now we want to plot the closest point, and we can then verify that it is indeed the closest point. So the closest point is stored in this variable, and we can get the it's 0 and the 1. So that gives us the x, and that gives us the y of the closest point. And again, I'm going to copy some styling so we can distinguish it from the rest of the graph and I'm going to make the color blue uh, let's see well let's make it yellow actually or green so so what we can see is we actually have been able to use numpy's operations the, the norm the l2 norm combined with the argmin in order to find what's the closest point to the red point um, within that 2d space um, to make this even clearer, what I can do is blur, um, I can make the opacity of the other points reduced and the other points are plotted in this call. And I can pass an alpha parameter and let's say it's 0 0.25 and that blurs out the rest of the points and we're left with only the target point 
and the actual point that's been identified as being the closest in the graph. And that's how you find the, the closest point. You can use NumPy's operations for that. I'm going to copy this entire graph. And to find the furthest away point, let's define max index and it will be numpy.argmax. And what we can then do is replace the minimum index with the maximum index. And that should plot the, the furthest away point in the two dimensional space. And you can see we've got our target point. The point that's actually furthest away in this graph is the green point now. So we've been able to use argmax combined with the L2 norm in order to find the point that's actually furthest away. It's very simple. We just change the operation to argmax, not argmin, and that will give us the result we want. So this is a, that was a short sort of whirlwind tour on how to do some plotting using uh, matplotlib. Specifically, we wanted to plot two dimensional points in a scatter plot. And on top of that, we figured out how to find the nearest point to a, t a randomly generated target point and how to find the furthest away point. And finding the nearest neighbor, as we've done up here, is actually one of the, you know, the most core algorithms within machine learning. It's called the K nearest neighbor algorithm. And basically, in this case, we have a one nearest neighbor. We're finding the nearest neighbor of that point. And that can be used to actually classify things into a particular classification and that's a very common and very simple algorithm in machine learning and this is a sort of very basic example of how you might go about finding the closest point to a particular point in a vector space so that's all i'd like to thank you for watching and i hope you've learned something and if you have please subscribe and until next time thank you bye